Good morning, Kayla. Hey, good morning. It's Garth. Garth, how are you? Good morning, sir. I'm good. Good morning to you guys. <laughs> we are so happy to have you on the phone with us. We have been giddy all morning. <laughs> I, I brought in, oh, you're very sweet. I brought in my very first Garth Brooks CD, and we took a picture and tagged you in it on Facebook. So you have to go like us, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, deal. But your very first Garth Brooks CD, I'm afraid, might have been like 10 years ago because you sound like you're like 12. Oh, I love oh, you. Stop it, Garth. <laughs> it is my birthday month. I but... have to work with this woman. Don't get her started. <laughs> <laughs> so excited awesome. to have you guys doing good this morning. Oh my we are gosh. Doing awesome. We are so excited about tomorrow and the on sale for Oklahoma City. This is huge. I mean, it's been twenty years since you've been here. Yeah, but we're we're very excited and of course just the chance to get to come home. That's the well, that's that's the main thing right there. I was gonna ask you, hey, you know, what's it gonna feel like to be be playing at home for the first time in, in twenty something years? I'm going to tell you, man. You you can play all around the world, and they can give you every award that the, the industry can come up with, and you you feel humbled, and you're flattered, and you're appreciative. With that said, it's still who you want to mean the most to are the people where you're from, man. Right. And so, yeah. you know, this is the one that you're probably the most nervous for. This is the one that you're most anxious for because these are the people you grew up with. So you just want them to walk out of there going, "Hey, I'm proud that he's from here, and I'm proud that he's one of us." Yeah. That's it. If they do that, then however the night goes is going to be fine with me. Well, you know what they say, there's no place like home, brother. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I got to tell you, uh, you know, you do this business long enough, nervous might not come into it. You still get the butterflies and stuff. <laughs> nerves don't come into it. But let me tell you, in Oklahoma City, this is going to be all nerves. It's, it's, oh, no you just kidding. Wanna, you just want to do so good for the people you grew up with. Well, Speaking of playing everywhere, you know, you have played to over 5 million people already, and the tour is not even finished yet. How do you even wrap your head around that number of people that have seen the show already? I, I, I don't know. It's crazy because, you know, in country music, they call the 90s the heyday of country music. Uh, it took 100 cities to sell 5 million tickets on that tour, and that was that was the biggest tour in the world at the time. And to think that this one's at 5 million at 60 cities is just crazy. I can't believe that people are showing up and the numbers that they are showing up with the attitude that they're showing up with. It's just stupid fun. <laughs> and I get to be right at the steering wheel of it, man. Well, it's so much fun. And you just got to look like it, like, you know, coming out, coming out, coming out of retirement, just like any other guy, you know, you and the wife in the Winnebago traveling the country, <laughs> you know, upscale Winnebago. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure it's a higher, higher quality Winnebago. You know, you probably got a spare tire and everything. Yeah, but it's, I tell you, they spoil you to death, first of all. But you get to travel around with the love of your life, your best friend, and then look around. It's all the same guys you played music with when you started. And the songs have actually made the leap of time. And to look out, and you're seeing the generation you hoped you'd see again, and then the other half of the arena is this whole new generation, and everyone knows the words, and it's just, it makes for a... It makes for a just wonderful night that you go out and you go, I'm never leaving, I'm never leaving. And it feels like five minutes and you've been out there two or three hours. Well, you know, I got to see the Yankee Stadium show. And like you're saying, the audience, you can tell the people that have been there for the whole ride. And then there are the ones there that I don't think that they were even alive yet when you went on your hiatus. I mean, it literally, it was it was a, a, a almost an even split of that audience. Yeah, man, it's crazy. They, uh, you know, if you look at your ticket uh, agencies, everything from Ticketmaster on, they have their data, and, and they're telling us 48% of the people on this tour, half of them, were 10 years old or not even born yet oh, when wow. we toured last. So you're you're dead on it, and but they know every word of every song. Oh, yeah. I'm amazed. So, so either their parents have you know <laughs> uh, forced it down their throat or. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, they somehow found it on their own, but it's pretty cool. Well, I, I know my neighbor was yelling at, at me through the walls when I was watching the Yankee Stadium concert. <laughs> quit, quit singing! Because I was singing along with every song, too. Uh, my very first Garth Brooks experience was uh, you opened for Reba McIntyre in Wichita Falls, yep. Texas. I don't, I mean, that was a long, long time ago. You were playing at some of the little dive bars around this area at that time. Yep. And it had to be a big deal to open for Reba. And now the size of both of y'all shows, I mean, are just humongous. Well, I got to tell you, there's nobody in the world better than Reba McIntyre. I'm going to put her on the level of Loretta Lynn, um, uh, Amy Lou Harris. No one outworks the girl. Miss Sherwood and her are best buddies. We get to play cards together. And I'm telling you, this woman is everything you want her to be. 
uh, when she's not on stage, and then when she is on stage, there's nobody that can outdo her, man. She's she's fantastic. So I love sharing uh, the same home state with her. So proud uh, to call her my friend, and she's a doll. She treated me like a superstar then. She treats you like a superstar now, and at the same time, she just treats you like you're a brother of hers or something that she was raised with. And why do I why do I get the feeling you don't want to get involved in a heavy game of cards with that lady? <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't want to get involved in anything heavy because you're going to get your butt kicked. Exactly. You right hey, you know, I got to see you back, backstage uh, when you were in Nashville when Trisha was singing the national anthem from the Predators game, and you were talking about the beard. How it may yeah. not have been the, the the best idea for a for a Tennessee summer. You still got it? No. It, 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 uh, <laughs> I went through that my day. daughter's wedding because I asked my daughter. I said, "Beard or no beard?" She goes, "Dad, I kind of like the beard." So the day after the wedding, it was gone. Uh. And uh, <laughs> you, but the queen the queen already misses it, so uh, I'll start it back up. And we've got to be in Billings uh, next weekend. It'll be back by Billings. Oh, there you, you go. You, you just broke Jerry's heart by the by the way. Well, but, but then you made up oh, for yeah. it. So because, yeah. Because because I love a man with a beard, so I'm excited about that. Studio G, let's talk about Facebook Live every Monday. This is the coolest thing ever. I don't usually see it on Monday night. I usually see it on Tuesday. Um, that is so much fun. You have got so yeah, much man, energy. Where does that come from? I love the fact that, that you can view this anytime you want, and it stays there. So over the week, we'll run somewhere between a million, million and a half, two million views on these things. And uh, it's just fun. It's a conversation, which I like. And it's not just, you know, when social media started, it was just spewing, spewing, spewing from the artist point and no feedback. And uh, we went to Facebook and said, hey, man, have you got anything where we can talk to people? And they go, well, we have this thing called Facebook Live that we're looking for an artist to launch. And we were lucky enough to be that audio, uh, that <laughs> artist. So now, about a year later, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Their technology is catching up now. We're hopefully you'll start seeing soon where you can actually see the person that's asking the question and you can have a conversation there on Facebook. Well, well. you know, we're the ones that have been lucky that you have been on there. Cause uh, you know, you got a lot of insight behind the scenes of the tour. Uh, and uh, you know, speaking of the tour again, tickets go on sale tomorrow, tomorrow, 10 AM local time. So, uh, you, you know, then it's only online ticketmaster.com slash Garth Brooks, or we'll give you the phone number again as well. Uh, make sure you go out there ahead and get your account all set up. So it makes it much, much easier. We, we are so honored that you were able to call us this morning and talk about this big show. We can't wait for you to come home on the final leg of your North American tour. It's kind of like saving the best for last, oh, isn't yeah. it? Oh, man, this is this has been sweet. We, you know, we always said that Oklahoma City, since we got to play Toby's thing for the uh, yes for tornado the tornado, tornado. right? Yes. Remember that? Yep. Yeah. So we always said that it would be toward the end of the tour. So now it's it's finally here, and I got to tell you, it's. Uh, like I said, nerves don't even begin to describe it, but the excitement. We're, we're so excited. Can't wait to see you guys and hug your neck. I love you guys, and, and thank you for everything. Have the best morning. Love thank you, you so too, much, brother. Garth.